In this episode, we look at how to remove hiss in your dialogue audio using Adobe Audition CC. If you've ever encountered a case where the noise in your audio capture is really noisy, something like this. The Rode NTG2 shotgun mic is so you have that really bad hiss in the background there, and you want to clean that up. Well, fortunately with Adobe Audition here, we're in Adobe Audition CC 2014, there are some things you can do to clean that up quite effectively. So what I did in this case is I took my audio recording, I did some compression just to sort of even out the peaks here, and then loudness normalized it to minus 19 LUFS, which is sort of the new recommendation in terms of loudness for when you're producing to the web. Well, the problem with that, of course, is that we have this horrible noise floor now that sounds something like this. The Rode NTG2 shot. So here is how we fix that in Adobe Audition CC 2014. Come up to Effects, choose Noise Reduction, and choose Noise Reduction Process. Now, the first thing we need to do is choose a noise print. And fortunately, in this recording here, I have a case where, or a section here, where there's nothing but the hiss that we're trying to remove. So I'll just highlight that using the Time Selection tool and click the Capture Noise Print button. Now, once I've done that, I can apply this to a much larger section. Actually, let's work with this section right here. Now, you have two, con two main controls, I guess, we have here, Noise Reduction and Reduce By. Noise Reduction is a percentage, and it's just how much you're going to apply to the overall sample here, the audio clip. And reduce by is the amount you want to reduce the overall noise level by. So in this case, we're going to kind of probably target 20 decibels, 20 dB. And we have, we're going to go ahead and start with 100% noise reduction, and we'll kind of pull it back to fine tune that. Let's go ahead and click this play button right here to get us a preview of what this effect is going to do. Now, first of all, you can tell it's done an amazing job removing this noise right here, which we just started playing. Um, but let's go ahead and keep playing and make sure it doesn't cut into our dialogue at all. The Rode NTG2 shotgun mic has been my workhorse shotgun microphone for probably the last four or five years, quite a while, and has done a nice job for me, though it's not perfect and they're very couple. Okay, that's actually sounding pretty decent, and it doesn't feel like we're cutting into the dialogue too much, but at the same time, we've reduced the noise quite a bit. So there is an example of how you can do that. Now, if you're having trouble kind of really understanding how much it's pulling out of the dialogue, you can also click this box here called Output Noise Only, and this is actually going to play for you just the stuff that it's removing from the audio. Let's go ahead and play that for a second. So it is touching the dialogue some, but not to the point where it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be a real problem for us here. If I play it again, I think you'll probably agree. Um, professional XLR-based mics are concerned. These, again, we're talking here. Okay, and then again, a sample of what it was like before we removed the noise. Here about shotgun mics that are in the league where you need a field recorder or some sort of... Okay, once we've done that, all we have to do is select our entire clip here. It's because in this case we want to apply the noise reduction to the entire clip. Click apply. And there we are. Now you can see the noise floor has definitely dropped pretty significantly. That's fantastic. What I can do here is actually measure to see where it's at. I come up here to my amplitude statistics. Now if you don't have that you just come up here to window and make sure the amplitude statistics item here is checked. Once you've done that, select the noise area that we'd reduced. Click scan selection. It's showing our average RMS amplitude is at minus 64. If you can get that under 60, usually that's pretty good for web distribution. That's gonna be pretty clean, clean enough in, in most cases. One other quick tip for you, to make things even easier, something you can do is actually pull up the spectral analysis, and that's just this little tab down here at the bottom. You just grab that, pull it up, and what you can see here is uh, spectral analysis is where you can see the high frequency sounds or treble sounds represented up here and the bass or low frequency sounds represented down here. So anytime you have red or yellow, that means you have some energy there, some sort of sound there. This is our uh, silent section or what should be silent but actually is, has hiss in it. And you can see there's this scattered red stuff throughout and the scattered red stuff 
throughout all of the high frequency range over here as well during the dialogue. So this is one thing you can use to sort of simplify the process of seeing where the noise is and whether or not you've taken care of it. Now, even a further bonus, there is also this view over here by clicking this button called Show Preview Editor. You click on that and it shows you the before and after. Now, in this case, we haven't done anything yet, but if I come back up here to Effects, Noise Reduction, Noise Reduction Process, watch this here, it's processing. Using these settings right here, you can see it's drastically cleaned up all that red material that was in this section that should be silent. And now when we play it and skipping forward to the dialogue part, the Rode NTG2 shotgun mic has been my workhorse shotgun microphone. For so you can see that can be really helpful for you too, because then you have a visual that helps you really identify whether or not you've taken care of the noise and the extent to which you may be cutting into your dialogue. So there's another tip you can use. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for checking out this episode. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more weekly episodes on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk with you soon. Music